Greetings and God bless you, my dear brothers and sisters. The Holy Spirit has led you here today because God wants to reassure you that you are on the right path, the path He has lovingly prepared for you. Many of us have experienced moments of uncertainty, questioning whether we are truly walking in God's will for our lives. But I want to encourage you today that God is always guiding your steps, even when the way seems unclear. In this video, we will explore the beautiful signs that God uses to confirm that you are exactly where He wants you to be. As we dive into the scriptures and the wisdom of the Holy Spirit, may your heart be filled with peace, knowing that your Heavenly Father is directing your every step. Please help us share this hope-filled message with others by liking, commenting, and subscribing to our channel. Your support enables us to continue spreading the love and guidance of our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you abundantly. Sign 1. My brothers and sisters, when you are walking closely with God and following His will for your life, one of the clearest signs that you are on the right path is a deep, abiding sense of peace in your heart, even in the midst of life's storms and challenges. The Bible tells us in Philippians 4, 7, that the peace of God surpasses all understanding. This means that even when circumstances around us are chaotic, confusing, and difficult, God is able to grant us supernatural peace on the inside that doesn't seem to make earthly sense. It's not peace that comes from positive circumstances, but peace that comes from trusting God's goodness and sovereignty. We see a powerful example of this in Mark 4:35, 41. The disciples were caught in a terrible storm while crossing the Sea of Galilee at night. The wind and waves were raging, tossing their boat around violently and filling it with water. The disciples were understandably terrified, fearing for their lives. Yet amidst this intense storm, Jesus was asleep peacefully on a cushion in the stern of the boat. The disciples woke Jesus up, amazed that he could sleep through such turmoil, and cried out, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? Jesus got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Immediately the storm subsided, and all was calm. Jesus asked the disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? This story powerfully illustrates the supernatural peace available to us when we put our faith in Christ. Jesus wasn't worried or afraid in the storm because he knew the storm was under his command. In the same way, when we trust that God is in control, that he is good, and that he is working all things together for our ultimate good, we too can experience profound peace in the midst of any storm we face, whether it be relational conflict, financial hardship, health issues, or any number of life's challenges. This peace is not something we can manufacture on our own. It is a fruit of the Holy Spirit that He grows in our lives as we abide in Christ. It's a result of walking closely with God, spending time in His Word and in prayer, and surrendering our lives to His will. The more in step we are with God's plan and purpose, the more we will experience the peace that passes understanding. So if you are going through a stormy season and you feel a deep, inexplicable peace and calm in your spirit, even if things still look tumultuous on the outside, take it as a sign that you are right where God wants you to be. Let your mind and heart be guarded by God's peace as you keep your eyes fixed on Him. He is with you, He is for you, and He will carry you through to the other side of this storm as you trust Him. Keep walking closely with your Good Shepherd and let His peace be your constant companion on the journey. Sign 2, my friends. When you find yourself on the path that God has set before you, one of the clearest signs is an intense, growing hunger for Scripture. As you walk closely with the Lord and align your steps with His perfect plan, your soul begins to crave the life-giving sustenance of the Bible like never before. Just as the psalmist described his longing for God as a deer panting for streams of water, so your spirit thirsts to drink deeply from the bottomless well of wisdom found in God's holy word. Sleep becomes less important than savoring precious moments pouring over the pages of Scripture. Rising early before the demands of the day or burning the midnight oil become a joy, not a burden as you feast on the nourishing truths God reveals in the Bible. You may have read certain passages dozens of times before, but now it's as if you are seeing them with fresh eyes, 
uncovering new insights and gems that both challenge and encourage you. Verses you've known since childhood take on new layers of meaning. The words on the page seem to leap into your heart, fortifying your faith and anchoring your soul to what is true and eternal. In Psalm 119, 103, David exclaims, How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. When you delight in God's commands and esteem His precepts as more valuable than gold, it is evidence that your spiritual taste buds are maturing. What once seemed bland or boring is now bursting with vibrant flavors, refreshment for your weary soul, light for your path, a sword to battle enemy attacks, a salve to heal wounds. Craving God's Word is a clear sign that the Holy Spirit is at work in your life, sanctifying you and transforming you from the inside out. Jesus affirmed this in His powerful prayer in John 17:17, 17, 17, when He asked the Father to sanctify them by the truth, your word is truth. The more you immerse yourself in Scripture, the more you will reflect the character of Christ and be equipped to follow God's will. If you find yourself excitedly anticipating your daily appointments in the Word, if verses frequently come to mind throughout the day, if you are quick to seek God's perspective in the pages of the Bible when faced with questions and concerns, rejoice. These are all indications that you are on the right track, that you are exactly where God wants you to be. Keep showing up, keep diving in, and watch in awe as your loving Heavenly Father speaks into your life through the living and active Word. For the more you know God's Word, the more you will know the heart of God Himself. And there is no greater adventure than that. Sign 3. My dear friends, when you find yourself filled with a newfound boldness to share your faith, it's a powerful sign that God is affirming you're on the right path. This holy courage wells up from within, empowered by the Holy Spirit, giving you the strength and conviction to proclaim the hope of the gospel to those around you. In the book of Acts, we see a striking example of this in the early church. After being filled with the Holy Spirit, the disciples spoke the word of God with boldness. They were no longer timid or afraid, but instead were energized with a divine courage to share the truth of Christ's love and salvation with all who would listen. This same boldness is evident in your own life when you're walking in step with the Spirit. Where once you may have shied away from faith conversations, hesitant to bring up spiritual matters, you now find yourself eagerly looking for opportunities to share your testimony and the good news of the gospel. Your heart burns with a desire to see others come to know the life-changing love and grace of Jesus Christ. This passion is beautifully illustrated in the story of Philip and the Ethiopian eunuch in Acts 8, 26, 40. Led by the Spirit, Philip ran up to the eunuch's chariot and boldly shared the gospel, explaining the scriptures and leading the man to faith in Christ. Like Philip, you find yourself ready and willing to engage in spiritual discussions, trusting the Holy Spirit to guide your words and touch the hearts of those you share with. This newfound boldness is not a result of your own confidence or eloquence, but rather it flows from the empowering presence of God in your life. As you surrender to His will and allow the Spirit to work through you, you'll discover a supernatural courage to proclaim the truth, even in the face of opposition or skepticism. Your boldness may manifest in various ways, whether it's striking up a conversation with a coworker, sharing your faith story with a friend, or even proclaiming the gospel to a stranger you meet in your daily life. You'll find yourself more sensitive to the promptings of the Spirit, ready to step out in faith and be a witness for Christ whenever and wherever He leads. As you continue to walk closely with God, this holy boldness will only grow stronger. You'll experience a deepening conviction of the truth of the gospel and an increasing urgency to share it with others. Your life will become a living testament to the transformative power of Christ as you boldly declare His love and invite others to experience the abundant life He offers. So take heart and be encouraged. This newfound boldness to share your faith is a clear sign that you are indeed on the right path, aligned with God's purposes and empowered by His Spirit. Embrace this holy courage and step out in faith, knowing that as you proclaim the hope of the gospel, lives will be forever changed by the power of Christ's love. 
Sign 4. My friends, when you are walking the path that God has laid out for you, one of the most encouraging signs is seeing His faithfulness manifested in tangible ways in your life. As you trust in His guidance and follow His leading, God demonstrates His unwavering commitment to providing for your every need, just as the Apostle Paul declared in Philippians 4.19, And my God will supply all your needs according to His riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Throughout the Bible, we find numerous examples of God's faithfulness to those who follow Him. One such instance is the story of Elijah in 1 Kings 17, 2, 6. During a time of drought and famine, God instructed Elijah to go and live by the brook Cherith, east of the Jordan River. In this desolate wilderness, God promised to sustain Elijah, and He did so in a most remarkable way. Each morning and evening, God sent ravens to bring bread and meat to the prophet, ensuring that his physical needs were met. This miraculous provision served as a powerful reminder of God's steadfast love and care for his servant. When you are on the right path, you too will experience God meeting your needs in personal and practical ways. These providential encounters serve as confirmation that you are precisely where God wants you to be. It may not always be as dramatic as ravens bringing you food, but God's provision is no less miraculous or meaningful. Perhaps you find yourself in need of wisdom for a critical decision, and suddenly, a trusted friend or mentor reaches out with the exact insight you needed. Maybe you are facing a financial challenge, and unexpectedly, you receive a generous gift or a new opportunity that helps you weather the storm. Or perhaps you are feeling lonely and disconnected, and out of the blue, you meet someone who becomes a cherished friend and source of encouragement. These tangible expressions of God's faithfulness are like love notes from your Heavenly Father, reminding you that He sees you, knows your needs, and is actively involved in your life. When you experience these personal and practical interventions, it is as if God is saying, I am here with you. You are on the right path. Keep trusting me, and I will continue to guide and provide for you. As you continue to walk in obedience to God's leading, take time to reflect on the ways He has shown His faithfulness to you. Remember the answered prayers, the timely provision, and the unexpected blessings. These memories will strengthen your faith and encourage you to persevere, even when the path ahead seems uncertain or challenging. In those moments when doubts arise, and you find yourself questioning whether you are truly following God's will, look back on the tangible evidence of His faithfulness. Let these experiences serve as a reminder that God is with you every step of the way, leading you, guiding you, and providing for you, just as He promised. As you stay the course and continue to trust in God's plan for your life, you will discover that His faithfulness knows no bounds. He will continue to meet your needs, both big and small, in ways that will leave you in awe of His love and care. And as you share your stories of God's faithfulness with others, you will become a living testament to the truth that when we follow God's path, He is always faithful to provide. Sign 5. My brothers and sisters, when you are walking in alignment with God's will for your life, one of the most profound and beautiful signs is the sense of God's pleasure washing over you. It's a feeling that is hard to describe, but unmistakable when experienced. In those moments, you just know deep in your spirit that your Heavenly Father is delighted with the path you are on. As believers, we are called to live in the center of God's will, that sweet spot where our lives are fully surrendered to His plans and purposes. When we are obedient to follow His leading, even when it may not make sense to our human understanding, we position ourselves to experience the fullness of His pleasure. The Bible tells us in Psalm 149, 4, that the Lord takes pleasure in His people. Just as any good earthly father takes joy in seeing his children thrive and make wise choices, our Heavenly Father's heart swells with pride and delight when we walk in His ways. He is a good, good Father who wants the very best for us. You may sense God's pleasure in quiet moments of prayer and communion with Him. As you pour out your heart and align your will with His, you can almost tangibly feel His smile of approval. It's like a warm embrace from heaven, assuring you that you are on the right track. 
God's pleasure over your life can also be confirmed through the encouragement and affirmation of other believers. The Bible says that we are to build each other up and spur one another on in our faith. When you are walking in obedience to God, fellow Christians who are tuned into the Holy Spirit may sense it and speak words of blessing and confirmation over you. Their encouragement can be like a megaphone amplifying God's pleasure. Basking in the pleasure of God is one of the most incredible experiences we can have as believers. It's like a heavenly hug, a divine stamp of approval on our lives. When you sense God's pleasure, you can have confidence and assurance that you are walking in His will and fulfilling His purposes for your life. Of course, this doesn't mean that the path will always be easy or without challenges. But even in the midst of trials and difficulties, you can hold fast to the unshakable truth that your Heavenly Father is well pleased with you. His pleasure over you is not based on your performance or perfection, but on your position as His beloved child. So if you sense God's pleasure over your life, rejoice and be encouraged. You are on the right path, aligned with His will and purposes. Keep pressing forward in obedience and faith, knowing that your Heavenly Father is smiling over you every step of the way. As you continue to walk in His ways, you will experience more and more of His delight and affirmation. Rest in His love, trust in His plan, and enjoy the incredible blessing of living in the center of His will. Sign 6. Being filled with thanksgiving in all circumstances is a powerful sign that you are walking in step with God's Spirit and trusting in His plan for your life. When you have faith that God is working everything together for your ultimate good, as promised in Romans 8.28. It allows you to maintain a grateful heart, no matter what challenges or hardships you may be facing. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 urges us to give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. This means adopting an attitude of gratitude and praise, even in the midst of trials and difficulties. It's a way of declaring that God is still good and worthy of thanks, even when life is hard. Having a thankful spirit doesn't mean denying the reality of pain or struggle. Rather, it's about keeping an eternal perspective and remembering that our present sufferings are temporary in light of eternity. We can rejoice always because we know that God is using every situation, even the tough ones, to strengthen our faith and shape us to be more like Christ. James 1, 2, 4 says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Hardships are never pleasant, but God can use them to refine us like gold and develop spiritual endurance. Choosing to give thanks in all things is ultimately an acknowledgement that God's ways and thoughts are infinitely higher than our own, as described in Isaiah 55, 8, 9. We may not always understand why God allows certain things to happen, but we can trust His wisdom, goodness, and love. He sees the big picture and knows the end from the beginning. So if you find yourself overflowing with gratitude despite life's ups and downs, take it as a sign that you are in tune with God's Spirit. You are living with faith, keeping an eternal perspective, and trusting God's sovereign plan. As you continue walking closely with Him and praising Him in all things, He will guide you along the right paths and use all things for your ultimate good and His glory. Sign 7. My dear friends, as you earnestly seek to follow God's path for your life, you will find that your heart becomes more and more attuned to His will. The closer you draw to God, the more He illuminates areas of sin and weakness in your life that you may have previously been blind to. This is beautifully illustrated in Psalm 139, 23, 24, where David prays, Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. As we invite God to search our hearts, He faithfully reveals hidden faults and purifies us from the inside out. When confronted with the blazing holiness of God, we cannot help but become acutely aware of our own sinfulness in comparison. Much like the prophet Isaiah who cried out, Woe to me, I am ruined, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips, 
and my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. Exposure to God's glory brings us to our knees in repentance. Yet this heightened sensitivity to sin should not drive us to despair, but rather to godly sorrow. 2 Corinthians 7.10 tells us that godly sorrow brings repentance that leads to salvation and leaves no regret, but worldly sorrow brings death. When the Holy Spirit convicts us of sin, He does so not to condemn us, but to lovingly guide us to repentance and renewed obedience. As we walk with Christ, our consciences become more sensitive and our hatred of sin grows. We find ourselves deeply grieved over thoughts, attitudes, and actions that we once easily dismissed or rationalized away. This is a sure sign of the sanctifying work of the Holy Spirit within us, conforming us to the image of Christ. Though the path of progressive sanctification is often painful as it requires putting our flesh to death, we can rejoice that God is at work, preparing us for eternity with Him. Heightened sensitivity to sin is not a discouraging sign that we are failing, but rather an encouraging confirmation that we are indeed on the right path, being transformed from one degree of glory to another. As we humbly turn from sin and walk in obedience, we experience the incomparable joy of friendship with God. So if you find yourself more painfully aware of your shortcomings than ever before, do not lose heart. Recognize this as the discipline of a loving Father who desires your holiness and is faithfully guiding you in the way everlasting. Press on in repentance and faith, knowing that He who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Sign 8. My brothers and sisters, when you are walking in alignment with God's will for your life, one of the clearest signs is that you begin to experience divine appointments and connections. These are encounters that God sovereignly orchestrates to propel you forward on the path He has laid out for you. In the Bible, we see a beautiful example of this in the story of Ruth. After facing tragedy and loss, Ruth chose to follow her mother-in-law Naomi back to Israel. Ruth had no idea what lay ahead, but she trusted that God would provide. As she set out to glean grain in the fields to support herself and Naomi, God arranged for her to end up in the field of Boaz, a close relative. This divine appointment was no coincidence. God positioned Ruth in the right place at the right time to meet Boaz. He was a man of noble character, who not only allowed Ruth to glean in his fields, but ensured she was treated with respect and had more than enough. Boaz became Ruth's kinsman redeemer, marrying her and restoring both her and Naomi. Through this divinely orchestrated relationship, Ruth became part of the lineage of Jesus Christ. In the same way, when you are submitted to God's plans, you will find yourself meeting the right people at the right time. These encounters aren't random. They are God-ordained connections designed to provide what you need to fulfill your calling. It may be a new job opportunity, a mentor who can provide wisdom and guidance, a partnership that helps expand your impact, or resources that sustain you during challenging seasons. The people God places in your path are not there by accident. They are strategically positioned by the Lord to speak encouragement when you need it most, open doors that seemed closed, provide skills and support that you lack, and ultimately join you in furthering God's kingdom. Seeing God's hand so clearly in your relationships and circumstances is a major confirmation that you are on the right track. When you are walking in obedience, God directs your steps and surrounds you with people who propel you towards His purposes. Just like He wove Ruth's story so intricately, He is working behind the scenes of your life to put you in the right place at the right time to fulfill the plans He has for you. Proverbs 16.9 says, In their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. When you surrender your own agenda and trust God to order your steps, that's exactly what He does. Even when it feels like happenstance, you can be assured that God is orchestrating the details of your life and the people you meet to accomplish His good purposes. He is the master weaver, creating a beautiful tapestry out of each divinely appointed thread. So if you find yourself suddenly making connections that catapult you forward, meeting people who help make your God-given dreams a reality, and seeing relationships bear fruit in ways only God could engineer, rejoice. These divine appointments are a clear sign that you are right where God wants you, following His lead. 
He is ordering your steps and bringing the right people across your path to accomplish his plans through you. Sign 9. My friends. One of the clearest signs that you are walking the path God has laid out for you is a growing desire to humbly serve others, just as Jesus did. Christ's entire earthly ministry was marked by compassionate, selfless service. He didn't come to be served, but to serve. He healed the sick, fed the hungry, comforted the brokenhearted, and ultimately gave his life as a ransom for many. As you grow closer to Jesus and abide in him, God begins to transform your heart to be more like Christ's. The Holy Spirit fills you with love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. This inner transformation manifests outwardly in a life poured out in service to others. You find yourself noticing the needs around you more. The lonely neighbor, the stressed single mom, the elderly person needing home repairs, the co-worker going through a hard time. More than just noticing, you feel a strong pull to step in and help, even at the cost of your own convenience or comfort. Your service might look like paying for a stranger's groceries, babysitting for free to give parents a much-needed date night, shoveling snow for the guy next door, or listening patiently to a friend who needs to vent. No act of kindness is too small. The key is that it comes from a heart that has been radically changed by an encounter with the living God. Like the Good Samaritan in Jesus' famous parable, you're willing to go out of your way, get your hands dirty, and put others' interests above your own. While everyone else is rushing by focused on their own priorities, you take the time to stop and care for the downtrodden and discouraged souls God places in your path. Choosing to live this way is not natural. It goes against our self-centered human nature. That's why a genuine desire to serve others sacrificially is such compelling evidence that you are walking closely with Jesus and being transformed from the inside out by the power of the Holy Spirit. It demonstrates that God is alive and active in your life, molding you into the image of His Son. So if you find yourself being less preoccupied with your own comfort and advancement, and increasingly pouring yourself out to meet the practical, emotional, and spiritual needs of others, rejoice. It's a clear sign that you are on the right path, being changed by God's love and grace to become more like the humble, compassionate servant Savior. Keep abiding in Him relying on the Spirit's power, and joyfully serving wherever He leads. As you walk in Christ's footsteps, your life will beautifully reflect His heart to a watching world. Sign 10. When you are walking on the path that God has set before you, one of the most profound and reassuring signs is experiencing supernatural strength in moments of weakness. This is a powerful testament to God's grace and His desire to sustain you through the challenges you face. The Apostle Paul, who endured countless trials and hardships in his mission to spread the gospel, learned to embrace his weaknesses. In 2 Corinthians 12, 9, 10, he writes, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Paul understood that in his moments of frailty, God's strength was most evident, enabling him to overcome obstacles he could never surmount on his own. When you are on God's path, you will undoubtedly face challenges that seem insurmountable. You may feel inadequate, ill-equipped, or simply exhausted by the trials before you. However, it is in these very moments that God's grace shines through most brilliantly. As you lean into His strength, you will find yourself empowered to press on, even when your own resources have been depleted. This principle is beautifully illustrated in Isaiah 40, 29, 31, which reads, He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. When you place your hope and trust in God, He will renew your strength, enabling you to soar above your circumstances and persevere through even the most daunting challenges. 
Experiencing God's strength in your weakness is a profound sign that you are depending on Him and walking in His will. It is a reminder that you are not alone and that God's grace is sufficient for every trial you face. As you continue to seek His guidance and rely on His strength, you will find yourself empowered to fulfill the purpose He has set before you, even in the face of adversity. In moments when you feel weak, overwhelmed, or inadequate, remember that God's power is made perfect in your weakness. Embrace the challenges before you as opportunities to witness His grace and strength at work in your life. As you do, you will find yourself growing in faith, resilience, and intimacy with your Heavenly Father, confident that you are walking on the path He has lovingly prepared for you. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts full of gratitude and souls seeking your guidance. As we navigate the winding paths of life, we find comfort in the knowledge that you are always with us, directing our steps and illuminating our way. Lord, we trust in your divine plan for our lives. When doubts and uncertainties cloud our vision, we cling to the assurance that you are guiding us along the right path. Your word reminds us that you have plans to prosper us and not to harm us, plans to give us hope and a future. We find solace in the promise that you are working all things together for our good, even when the journey seems challenging. We praise you for the gentle whispers of your Holy Spirit, urging us forward and confirming that we are on the right track. When we face difficult decisions or encounter obstacles along the way, we seek your wisdom and discernment. Help us to tune our hearts to your voice to recognize the subtle signs and nudges that point us in the right direction. Father, we thank you for the gifts and talents you have bestowed upon us. We trust that you have equipped us with everything we need to fulfill the purpose you have for our lives. Give us the courage to step out in faith even when the path ahead seems uncertain. Help us to embrace the unique journey you have crafted for each of us, knowing that your hand is guiding us every step of the way. We pray for strength and perseverance when the road becomes steep and the challenges seem overwhelming. Remind us that you are our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in times of trouble. When we grow weary, renew our spirits and fill us with your peace, that surpasses all understanding. God, we thank you for the people you have placed in our lives to encourage and support us along the way. We are grateful for the mentors, friends, and loved ones who offer wise counsel and uplift us with their prayers. Help us to be a light and a blessing to others, sharing the hope and assurance that we have found in you. As we continue on this path, may we keep our eyes fixed on you, the author and perfecter of our faith. Help us to trust in your timing, knowing that your plans are perfect and your ways are higher than our own. May we find joy in the journey, embracing each moment as a gift from your hand. Thank you, Lord, for the assurance that we are on the right path. We trust in your goodness, your faithfulness, and your unwavering love. May our lives bring glory and honor to your name as we follow the path you have set before us. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. Keep walking in faith, even when the road ahead seems unclear. Trust that God is guiding your every step and that He has a purpose for every season of your life. Remember, His timing is always perfect. He knows what He's doing, even when we can't see the full picture. He is working all things together for your good and His glory. So don't get discouraged by detours or delays. Embrace the journey and the lessons He's teaching you along the way. Keep seeking Him listening for His voice and obeying His leading. He has placed dreams and desires in your heart for a reason. Keep pursuing them with passion and perseverance, knowing that He will open the right doors at the right time. Your story is still being written. The best is yet to come. Stay faithful, stay hopeful, and stay the course. God is with you every step of the way, and He will lead you into the amazing future He has planned for you. Trust Him, lean on Him, and watch Him work in ways that will blow your mind. You are loved, you are chosen, and you are destined for greatness in Him. Keep shining your light and walking in His purpose. The world needs what you have to offer, and as you follow God's path for your life, you will experience the abundant life He has promised. I'm praying for you and cheering you on. God's got this, and He's got you, 
Amen.